talk a little bit about productivity software today. For those out there using Trello or any kind of Kanban type of style uh, management tool, there's a really cool app out there called Planka. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to set that up today. It's a little bit different than things we've set up in the past. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to give Planka its own data set preset. I'm going to leave everything for today for generic, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go over that later. But let's start with Planka. It needs four basic data sets to function. Um, it needs avatars I'm going to create all four of these using generic as you're seeing here images attachments which I'm just going to call attach and it's got a postgres db which I'm just going to call db now I'm going to change all this so I want to come into planka I want to click my my top level here uh, and then I want to click edit on my permissions like that. And I'm going to want to open up all these permissions. Yes, I do. I want to click all these checkboxes. Save like that. So now I want to go to attach and I should see other read, write, execute, avatars, read, write, execute, DB, read, write, execute, images. Good. Now we're good. So let's jump over here to Planka because we still have to do some more stuff with permissions here. Let's install this. Okay. Database password, I'm going to set something insecure. You guys are going to set something secure. For the secret key, we need to do this cool generation thing. So I'm just going to open up a terminal, and I'm going to go and type in this command, which I'll put in the video description. It's just open SSL rand hex 64. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put that in my secret key. That, my default admin email. I need to fill this out for default admin user. After I launch this, create a second user, then go back and delete this. This is pretty much like the back door, for example. How to get it. This is going to be the first user that's created. And we have to start that with HTTP. Like that. Uh, most people are going to put this behind a proxy. If you are, just click that. If you have Cloudflare Tunnels, Nginx Proxy Manager, definitely click that. All right, I'm going to leave the port the same. Let's start by going host path for all this stuff. So our avatar storage is going to start off with this right here. Plank uh, avatars, okay. Uh, this is background images, so I'm just gonna find the images one that I created. That one right there. Uh, the attachments. Now if you do this with the regular apps permissions, it will not work. I've already tried it multiple times. This is the only way I've gotten this to work. Which one is again, this is attachments. It's the only way I've gotten it to work. Um, this is the most important one because it is a database and because it is a Postgres database, it needs automatic permissions, just like that. Everything else is the same. You might want to throw some more resources at it, especially if you have a lot of people using it. Okay, so now we're up and running. Let's jump in our web UI. We are going to use the name that we created during the setup with the password. Again, this is going to look just, this is a rip off of Trello, which is amazing. So this is going to be, I'm just going to show you some really quick functionality just to show you how Trello like this is. So this is my project board. This is gonna be, um, I'll just call it TrueNAS board, something like that. So that's really cool. So we come out here, my project, here's my TrueNAS board. Let's say videos, wiki, blog. Okay, let's add a card to videos, create new video, wiki. And new page and blog and new post. Something like that. So again, this is really cool stuff. Um, so let's do a card to here. I can do everything I could normally do in Trello. I can move my cards like that. As you see, I'm going to click into this card. I'm going to do a label. I'm going to subscribe to that. I'm going to do a label, create new label, label like that. There we go. So I'm going to apply that label and you can see that just like that. In my administrator, I'm going to want to change and I'm going to want to definitely subscribe to my own cards by default, like that. So now, new page. So I should be, so I just click subscribe there for the stuff that I've done. I have to click subscribe here. Usually you click that first. So when I do another card here, for example, like that, I'm already subscribed, which is awesome. So let's do some attachments. I'm just going to upload a random image from my computer, like that. There's my font attachment, and I can download it and blow it up and all that stuff. 
So yeah, this is pretty much how it goes. You're going to want to come in here and you're going to want to add a user because again, we just use the default one from the setup. We're going to want to add new ones here for all of our users. Then you're going to want to add them to your board, which is really cool. We can do as many boards as we want. This is completely free. Unlike Trello, which charges you for all kinds of crazy stuff, this is completely free. You can add as much to this as you want. You can add labels. You can move stuff around. There's all sorts of things you can do on this that you can do on Trello. Now, Trello does have a lot of power-ups and plugins, things to make it more powerful um, and do other things with it. Plank is a little more basic than that, but it does everything that Trello does at the base level. So this is a really great kind of project management tool. If you've got one of these going on um, at work or you're used to using these, or you just want this to you know, organize your own life, uh, I think it's a really cool project, and I wanted to show you guys this app.